Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thanks. Okay, Juan Francisco, I read your message. And Henry, okay? Okay, Henry, but please connect. Uh, well, I don't know if he's still connected. Maybe he disconnect. Okay. Okay, Herman, very good. Okay, people, we are gonna start the class by calling the attendance. I hope everybody is okay, okay? So we are gonna start right to the point tonight because we have a lot of things to do tonight. So let's go to call the roll. Please remember that you have to turn on your video cam and when you hear your name, you say present, okay? Alma Veronica Castro de Serrano. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Saldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Okay. Guys, for some reason, I, I have no very good audio. Uh, audio. Um, I just heard Georgina and barely could hear Aníbal. So please check your audio, Aníbal, please. Oh. There you go. Now it is okay. Thank you. Oh. Georgina Beatriz, say present, okay. Herman Enrique Gonzalez Valeriano. Here. Okay. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Present teacher. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. Jose Ulises Anaya Cortés. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Present. Okay. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Present teacher. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Wendy Lisset Gómez García. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Yes, Aníbal, I checked you already in. Mm -hmm. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present. Okay. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Yolivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. I said he, he was in his way, right? In his way, so it's okay. Maybe he'll be, okay. Present teacher, Catherine Santos. Okay, thank you. Very good, Catherine. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, people, we are gonna start a class tonight. Uh, we. Well, I'm happy because we are starting unit two. 
Okay, we're starting to unit two. So I hope everybody is on the same page. Okay, um, we started the simple present tense. We continue with the simple present tense. Uh, and um, we are studying ongoing activities at the workplace. Even though we are gonna talk about leisure activities, daily activities in our home and our everyday life too, right? Because it's very important for us to practice that vocabulary too. So let's let's um, let's start the class by just introducing uh, the objective for tonight and the objective for the complete unit. Okay. The unit two topic or the general topic is ongoing activities, right? So. Um, <clears throat> ongoing what what do you think it is ongoing ongoing activities ongoing activities what do you think it is alguien tiene alguna idea que le dé esa palabra ongoing hello Como estar haciendo algo, estar, dirigirse a hacer alguna actividad. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe things that are scheduled, right? Maybe things that are scheduled and they are going to happen. Ok. So maybe it's in a near future. Don't you think so? No les da una idea como así, cosas que están pasando en... El, la, en el trabajo o en algún momento. Then, the first topic in this unit will be how to use frequency adverbs. Frequency. Así, Excuse me, Karen. Haciendo actividades. El endo. Yes, going is like. Uh, ando, ando. Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, ongoing activities es, da la idea de que son actividades que están sucediendo. Okay? Activities that are, that are happening or that take place, right? In some moment. Okay? In any moment in the workplace. Okay? So that's ongoing. And the first topic is how to use frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. What idea or what do you think we are going to start with the frequency adverbs? Hello, okay. teacher. Uh-huh. Hello? Hello, tell me. Disculpe, teacher. Uh-huh, tell me. Me perdí. Me va a repetir, por favor. No le entendí. Okay, we are going to study the frequency adverbs, okay? This is the topic. Ahorita solo estoy introduciendo la clase. We are starting unit two. And unit two, the general topic is ongoing activities. And we're gonna talk about activities that happen in the workplace and a certain time and a certain date, et cetera. They are scheduled, right? Then, we are going to start with the frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. ¿Qué creen ustedes que vamos a estudiar por acá? In the frequency adverbs. ¿Qué idea les da? ¿Ya los han estudiado antes? Como una frecuencia de verbos. Como una frecuencia de? Verbos o adverbios. Adverbs. Adverbs is a word, okay? We are going to oh, define this sure. very good, uh, very detailed. Tell me. Eh, son situaciones que pueden suceder en el trabajo eh, frecuentemente. Yes, yes. very good, yes. Mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Even though frequency adverbs, ya vamos a ver un poquito de gramática acá, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque vamos a ver la función de estas palabras. Estas palabras, la función es que definen la actividad en cierta frecuencia de tiempo o veces que se realiza, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos hablando de que eh, 
este, esta palabra modifica el verbo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos entonces a ver el objetivo, the objective for tonight. You will be able to identify and use adverbs of frequency. You are going to be able, y les subrayo acá y les pongo en bold, ok, les pongo en negrita, to identify, identify. ¿Por qué a identificar? Ah, porque miren, realmente adverbios, adverbios en inglés hay infinidad de, ver, de adverbios, ¿ok? Vamos a ver los más comunes y vamos a identificarlos en su función de adverbio, ¿ok? Eso es empezar a desarrollar el concepto, ¿verdad? Porque probablemente en español o en inglés tengan su diferencia, ¿verdad? Su diferencia, I'm sorry, guys. Ok, no problem, but it's ok. Entonces, we are going to identify, identify, ok? So the agenda for tonight. We are going to have a grammar exercise as a feedback from the last topic. Then we are going to practice a conversation. This conversation is about the simple present and all the vocabulary that we have studying, uh, we have studied. And then we're gonna start with these two questions. How often do you and how often does she? Then in the breakout rooms, you are going to work on your manuals, okay? And tonight, Uh, the turn for the session one-on-one -on -one is Jose Arnoldo's turn, okay? Jose Arnoldo es el privilegiado de esta noche para quedarse y resolver sus dudas, ¿verdad? Con la teacher los 10 minutos después de la clase. Okay, let's start then with the grammar exercise. Here we go. Let's talk about personal finances money, right? And the work perks. And also we are going to see the negative, the negative form of the simple present, okay? So first of all, let's find the mistakes. Let's find out the mistakes in the sentences. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a encontrar los errores que hayan en estas oraciones, ¿ya? Yeah? Los errores nos referimos a los verbos. ¿Por qué? Porque eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando. Los verbos en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Conjugados en la tercera persona tienen una forma y conjugados en I, you, we, they, es, eh, we, you, they, en o la forma base. Bien, let's start then. Do you see any mistake in the sentence number one? Sí. Es, uh, I look. Aha, so what's the mistake no, here? No letter is. Excellent. Letter S dropped. Okay, yes. yeah. It was uh, not necessary because the subject is I, right? I look for a job because I need. need. Or, Yes. Without the letter S, right? Without significa sin. Without letter without. S. Yes. Excellent. So I look for a job because I need to earn money. Let's see. Do you see any mistake in, uh, in number two? Have. It's a has. Okay. Very I good. Have. Next one. Number three. Has. Works. Works. What is the mistake here? E -S. E -S. E -S. Only S. Sorry. Sorry. Only X. Very good. Without Word. letter Word. E, right? Words. Works. E. Works. Works. Yes. Works. Mm -hmm. works. Julio works. works five days a week. Okay. Works. Number four. The. Let's read it. Private sector. It's on. Uh, it's a compound word here in a compound so meaning. Privado. Yes, okay. private se sector companies don't pay fair salaries and benefits. 
Is there any mistake there? Face with S. Again? Face with S. No. Ok, si yo le pongo pace, veamos, a ver. ¿Estaría correcto así? No, because oh. it's negative. Correct, it is negative. Is it uh, mistaken? Is it wrong? Or is it okay? What do you think? Salary? No. No, it's about the verb. It's okay. It's okay. Why is it okay? ¿Cuál es el sujeto acá? Veamos, identifiquemos el sujeto. Let's identify the subject. Las compañeras del sector Private sector. Companies, right? Companies. Companies. Yes, that belong to the private sector. Okay. So, is it plural or is it uh, singular? Plural. Plural. Okay, plural. that subject is plural, that so I don't think it has a mistake in it, right? Doesn't play. Doesn't. For plural? Doesn't. A ver, el sujeto es el sector privado o es las compañías del sector privado. Yeah. El sujeto es las compañías del las sector compañías privado, ¿verdad? Del sector privado. Exacto. Entonces es plural. It's plural. Si es plural, utilizamos don't. ¿Ok? Don't. Remember? Remember? It's okay. like if we are saying they. ¿Ok? Esto es como que estuviéramos diciendo they, ¿ok? Entonces, no hay error. There is no mistake in here, ¿ok? No, no mistake. No, no mistake in it. Ok, number five. Es make. Es la secretaris. Es en plural, ¿verdad? It's plural. It's plural. Yes. So we have to drop letter S, right? Drop letter S. Quitar la letra S. Drop letter S. Mm -hmm. So secretaries make $545 monthly in this company. Okay, number six. Sales representatives calls clients in Sundays to get an extra bonus. Get call calls. Okay, so we have to drop letter S, right? Yes. Okay, we drop letter S because it's plural. The sales representatives, okay? Okay, number seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Okay, it's, it's great. Correct. It is correct. Number eight. It's correct. It's correct. Very good. Now let's see number nine. Is it correct? It's correct. 
Okay, correct. it's correct. Why? Because it's it, gasoline, it right? costs. Oh, oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. So now let's transform this into negative. Number one, let's transform it into negative. A ver, transformémosla a negativo. ¿Cómo sería en negativo la número uno? Number one. I don't look for I a look job. For a job because I don't look. I, I don't look. I don't, I don't look, look for a job. For, for a job. I don't. I no need for a job. to earn money. Because I need to earn money. money. A liar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, number two. Baby doesn't have 15 days on his vacation. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Okay, very good. Number three. Julio doesn't, Julio doesn't, doesn't work, 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 work by day, by day, by a, day week. a week. Okay, number four. Oh. Private day sector com companies. Don't play for Salarial, um, the form is negative. It's already no, negative. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's already yeah. negative. It doesn't it's suffer negative. any change, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't suffer any change. Y si fuera positiva, ¿cómo la hiciéramos? ¿Cómo dijéramos eso? Company. Private sector company. Do, play, do, pay, do, pay, 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 salary, salary and benefits. Um, salary and benefits. Private sector companies. Pay. Could this be a lie too, Henry? <laughs> Se me fue Henry. Okay, number five. Secretary. 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 Don't make. Don't make. Why don't make? Don't make? For five months in a company. A ver, sin miedo, sin miedo, que se oiga. Five hundred dollars for five. Ok, en este caso sería five hundred forty five. Dollars at the end, ok? Dollars at the end. No decimos primero 500 dólares, porque no es un decimal, ¿verdad? No son centavos, sino que es una cantidad entera. Entonces decimos oh. 545 dólares. Ok, there you go. Monthly, right? Monthly in, Monthly in this company. Very good. Number six. So representatives. Don't, don't call, call clients, clients in Sunday, no. Sundays no. to get a get an extra bonus. Ahí también había otro error. Yep. It's not in, it's on Sunday. Oh. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. To get. Um. Uh, an extra bonus. There we go. Next one. In this job, in this job you in don't this have job, you don't have social security, have social and, paid security and paid vacation. Okay, number eight. 
I don't write a report. I don't write a report and prepare financial documents every Monday. Ahí tenemos dos cosas. Ok. Ahí tenemos dos actividades. ¿Cómo diríamos en negativo? Para unir. Ajá. I don't write a report and I don't prepare. Exactly. Podríamos hacer completa. Mm -hmm. Esa es una buena forma. Mm -hmm. And I don't prepare financial mm -hmm. documents. Financial documents every Monday. Okay. This is very important, porque a veces eh, eh, lo más fácil es esto, ¿verdad? Y lo que ahorita nosotros conocemos. Más adelante, ustedes van a encontrar que se dice or, ¿ok? Or. Or. Or prepare, ¿ok? Pero está mucho mejor decir como lo dijo su compañera, ¿ok? And I don't prepare. Okay, what about number nine? That's the line. Yeah, That's the line. Don't go. Mm. Gasoline is eat. Third person. Gasoline doesn't. doesn't. Yes, doesn't. doesn't. Three. Doesn't. Three dollars. Three dollar eighty eighty six cents per gallon today. Okay, gasoline doesn't cost. Okay, doesn't cost three dollars and eighty five cents. No, eighty six cents per gallon today. There you go. There you go. I'm going to change my glasses. I'm so sorry, but I'm, I don't feel comfortable with those. So I'm going to change to these others. A los viejitos, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Is there any questions so far? Uh, I... Me no. puede solo detallar a do, cuando se usa eh, do o doesn't? Do es cuando el sujeto es primera, primera, segunda, en singular, que sería I, you, y we, and they. Okay, you and plural too. Ustedes. Right? Do es primera. I, you, we, they. I, you, we, they. With those subjects, we use do and don't, okay? Now, for the third person, he, she, it subjects, then we are going to use does or doesn't for the negative, okay? Okay. No more questions? Let's start with this conversation. Yesterday we were practicing in the uh, break, I mean, in the session one on one, this conversation, because this is the one that I had prepared. Okay. So, um, we are going to practice this conversation and we are going to the breakout rooms also to practice it just for a little while, okay? So I'm going to read it first, okay? And then you are going to answer some questions, okay? Hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernest Bellevue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Bellevue. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? 
No, it's B E L L V I E W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistics manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. I invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It is about $200. Okay, 30 seconds to read it. 30 segundos y lo leen todos, okay? Hello. Hello. I, I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? I am Ernest Bell. You. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ramon. I am sorry, what's your last name? Again? Okay. It's Bellevue. It is. All right, is it any question? Is there any question so far? And shipment? Shipment es un, ca un cargamento. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. How do you say schedule? A schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. schedule. Schedule. Schedule, okay. Mm -hmm. No more questions about the vocabulary? Invoice. Details. Invoice. Invoice is facturar. <laughs> Uh, what was the other word? Details. Oh, ¿cómo se va a usar? Details. To set. To, to set, set details. Establecer o cuadrar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Alistar también podría ser ahí. Are we okay? Okay, now I, I need uh, Henry, please help me and Karina Elizabeth. Okay, you are going to show only once and then we are going to the breakout room. Okay, there you go. Hello, teacher. Oh, we have two Henrys, right? Okay, yes, Henry yes. Ramirez. Okay, Henry Ramirez, thank you very much for being ready. Okay, there you go. Okay, with okay. Catherine. Okay, I start. Hello, I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I am Ernest Villiv. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too. Ernest, I'm sorry. What's your last name? Again. It's Believe. Bellevue. Bellevue. It's Bellevue. Is it B E L B O E? U E. U E. Mm -hmm. 
not. It's B E L L B U A V. I E W. I E W. Thank you. Are you a tenure truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I am the logic manager. Secretary, I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email to 25 trucks drive. I organize the meeting and training. I uh, also call clients every Friday to seed the data for the weekly shipment they usually order. Um, Amboys, the delivery chairs, it depends on the distance. It is about two thousand hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two, sorry, sorry, <laughs> two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Vámonos al breakout room. Okay. Vámonos al breakout room y hacemos esta, esta conversacioncita solamente una vez. Okay, only once. Okay. Only okay. once means that you are not going to switch roles. Okay, no cambian roles, se regresan para acá. Okay. Inicio. Inicio yo. Bye. Hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Se pronuncia it, bet, will. No sé. Belvio. Belvio, algo así. It's Belvio. Yes, the last name, right? It's Belvio. Yeah. Belvio. Ah. Belvio. Yes, Manuel. <laughs> Thank you very much Belvio. for helping your partner. Okay, go ahead. Continue, guys. Okay, José Arnoldo, okay. le doy un, un, un tip. No se detenga, Dios. usted dígalo, ¿ok? Le ah, salga, okay. aunque, usted, aunque usted diga, ay, es que no sé cómo se dice, pero <ríe> tiene una idea de cómo más o menos decirlo. Entonces, usted dígalo como lo lee, ¿ok? Usted pues, diga. Sí, teacher, fíjese que muchas veces tengo más o menos una idea o trato de leerlo como más o menos está, pero 
como que a la vez me da pena de equivocarme. Y no, por eso muchas no veces tenga me pena. Detengo. No tenga en pena, aquí todos también. nos equivocamos. No tenga pena, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Aquí nadie se va a reír y si, se, y si alguien se ríe, es que se ríe con nosotros, vea, no de nosotros. ¿okay? No, de nosotros. Ok, <ríe> okay vamos pues. Ok. Continue, guys. Sería, it's, it's baby. Mm -hmm. Is it B E L B U E? Not it's bell view. View. Ahí lo que tiene que hacer es deletrearlo. Ahí tiene que ah, deletrearlo. Ajá. Sí. That's why these letters are separated. Ok. And they, ahí usted va a decir, no, it's, y lo deletrea. B -E, B E. B E. L. L. La. La B, B ¿cómo sería ti? V. 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 La I. 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 A. W. I. E. W. I. E. W. I. A. W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? What do you do? I'm the logistics manager secretary and schedule the deliveries and send the reports by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize, organize the meeting and training. I also call client a very, a, a very free day to set the details of the weekly is is hitman they usually order. I embrace the delivery chain charger. It depends. Not everybody has finished. Okay, we are gonna close the um, the rooms. One second. Oh, they are coming. ¿Cómo sintieron la conversación cita? Quizás el último párrafo que es más largo, un poco difícil. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but usually when someone asks you about your profession, your occupation, or your functions at work, you are going to say all the activities that you do, right? Ok, si, si alguien llega y le dice, mire, usted es la secretaria aquí, ¿y qué hace usted aquí? ¿Verdad? Entonces empieza a decir, ah, mire, y uno quiere ponerle hasta más para que vean que yo trabajo más, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's kind of the idea here to list all the activities of the secretary, ¿ok? She's like an assistant, right? So, yeah. But yes, it's kind of difficult because uh, there are some words that maybe we don't know, but we relate. Okay, so let's see. Two questions about that conversation. Okay, two questions. Déjenme hacerles dos preguntitas. Oh. Okay. Okay. First one. What does Ernest Bellevue do? Um, it's a new driver truck. Uh, truck truck driver. driver. Truck driver. Okay. Yes, he is the new truck driver. Very good. Very good. And the next question is easy. And I think you know what it's going to be the second question, right? What does Abigail Watson do? She's secretary, logistics manager, secretary. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does she do exactly? Mm. Assistant. She. Okay. What about um? 
Abigail, you said she is? She is. She is ATM. She is a? ATM. Like an ATM? Why ATM? Ella hace todo. <laughs> yeah, almost, right? Casi que hace el trabajo del, <laughs> del conductor. <laughs> Solo ir a dejar los oh, paquetes eh. le falta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <laughs> a ver, she is the logistics manager. Uh -huh. Manager. Secretary. Secretary. Okay, there you go. Secretary. There you go. Secretary. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> she does a lot over there. But yeah. what does she do exactly? What does she do exactly? A ver, hagamos la lista de las actividades que ella hace. Let's do the list. Okay. Uh, um, I am. Oh, uh, no. She. Uh -huh. Schedule the delivery. Schedule the delivery. The deliveries. Mm -hmm. And send the dirt. Uh, I am. No, uh, sorry. And send she sends, the report. She okay, sends send the report oh, by email. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am. Este, she organized the meeting, a training. She, she organized. Acordémonos organized. de la tercera persona. She organizes. She, uh, yeah. organizes. she organizes the meeting and training. And trainings. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? Oh. Um, Flying every Friday. Oh. She? She calls clients. Oh. clients. She also. She, she calls clients. clients. Every Friday. Okay. That's to set the details, right? About the shipment that this clients order. Okay. What else? Um, uh, she invoices. invoices. Excellent. Uh huh. Voices the library charge. There you go. Okay. So I think that's the last one, right? There you go. If you see I these is tell me. Mm. A schedule a schedule in third person oh. is a schedule or schedules. A schedule. No, schedule schedules. Schedules. Mm -hmm. En este schedules. caso, solo es schedules. Schedules. Mm -hmm. schedules. Have S. Yeah, only the letter S. Yes, and the letter mm -hmm. It doesn't sound the, the letter E. First, second, three. So yeah, she schedules the deliveries. Uh, organizes is different. Organizes. Okay. There you go. Tell me. Um, is, oh, oh, okay. How do you say uh, tercera persona in English? Third person. Oh, third mm -hmm. person. Oh, mm -hmm. third person. First, first, first mm -hmm. person. Third first, person. First. Oh. No, no. Third. 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 Mm -hmm. third. He, third. she, third. it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Como puse solo he en mayúsculas, van a decir que soy machista. No, mejor lo cambio a todos mayúsculas para que no digan. Ok, there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, hay, hay que uno tener mucho cuidado, ¿verdad? Las feministas, los machistas, etc. Nosotros respetamos, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Van a salir a manchar al rato. Oh, no, no way, no way, not here. <laughs> yeah. No way, not here. <laughs> ok, ah, esa es una frase muy interesante. No estoy diciendo la otra frase, estoy diciendo no way, like no way. it's so, not yeah. possible, yeah. ok? No, no camino, no, ok? No. <laughs> is this one no, no way, way. No okay way. not the other okay, okay. No. please okay, okay. 
please. <risa> a ver. Ay, sí, más de alguien podría ay, decir, ay, uy, la teacher, lo que está diciendo. But no. Ok. Bien, vamos a continuar entonces. Eh, me voy a quedar hasta acá con esta conversacioncita. Tiene una segunda parte, pero nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Ok. Vamos a ver, son las 8.51. Faltan aproximadamente 10 minutos para las 9, ¿verdad? Yo digo que jugamos un ratito antes de, antes de irnos al tema de los adverbs of frequency. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? What do you think? It's okay. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, este es un... Let's do it. Let's okay. go play. Uh, it's not exactly a game, but oh, yes, it's about yeah. uh, how much and how many use, oh. okay? How to use how much and how many. This is just to remember some uh, details about that, okay? So I'm going to give you the code to, to get into the game and just one second, because to join, you can go by the search of Google. Can you go by Google search? Ok, hay dos maneras. La primera es que en su Google Search ustedes escriben. A ver, vamos a poner por aquí en el chat. Ustedes escriben joinmyquiz.com. Joinmyquiz.com. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, joinmyquiz.com. Of, uh -huh. of the decade. Like this. And the. And the no. Google search. Oh, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Dot com. Yes. Y les va a pedir un código. Password, teacher. Yes, right now. Just give me one second because it's still loading. Ya me lo va a tirar el código. Ah, thanks. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Are you ready? Okay, there, there you go. We are, we are playing. Uh, we are going to practice how much and how many. So you may go to the Google search, Juan Francisco, and write in the Google search, joinmyquiz.com. Ay, lo escribí mal, join my quiz. Lo escribí mal en el chat, no me fijé. Les voy a sacar el código directo, mejor. Ya, ya casi, ya casi me lo da. El código para los que encontraron de un solo joinmyquiz.com es 8905.75. Again, 8905.75. Mm -hmm. okay. I will say, say it again. Eight nine zero five seven five. Lograron entrar así? De igual manera yes, se lo voy a sacar en cuanto me deje esto. Okay. Yes, teacher. There you go. Ya han jugado, ¿verdad? ¿Ya han jugado algo así? No. no. Va, este no. es un cuestionario en, de opción múltiple. ¿Ok? The multiple option means that you are going to check the correct answer. There is only one answer correct. ¿Ok? En este ejercicio solamente hay una respuesta correcta. ¿Ok? Teacher, eh, ¿empiezo o espero? Espero un poquitito porque les ah, voy a tirar okay. a los que... Porque okay. solo tengo cuatro yo acá. Visualizo solo oh. cuatro. Eh, ¿Qué le vamos a dar? ¿Iniciar sesión? ¿Registrarme? No. ¿Alguien quiere ayudarme para decirlo así más fácil? Eh, si, ya, si, ya coloco, si ya coloco la clave. Si ya coloco no, la clave. No sé cuál es. ¿Cuál, le, vale, para, entonces hagamos clave, una cosa. Perdón. No, puede, no, pudiera, no pudieran enviarle al, al WhatsApp. No, ahorita se lo mando por acá. Estoy enviando ya directo con todo y el código. Ahí pueden no. hacer clic los que no han entrado por el Google Search. Carmen, ahí es? en el chat. 
ya entré por el Google Search. Ok, y le pide un código. Me di, no me pide, solamente entré y aparece inicio. Empezar. Inicio, registrarme. Sí, sí, póngale no, en, en empezar. Ponga, le, le colocamos empezar ya, teacher, entonces. No, 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 no. no inicio ah, tiene ah. que ser. Inicio. Mejor usen el, el segundo código que mandó la teacher, más rápido. Es más okay. rápido, sí, porque ya tiene todo eh, puesto, exactly. Ok, now let me check here. Solo tengo cuatro, eh, solo visualizo cuatro. Solo veo a Marianne. ¿Empezar? Eh, no, tengo que verla yo por acá primero. Solo tengo cuatro. Tengo a Rolando, a Carla, no, a Karina es, creo. Teacher. Tell me. A mí ya me dice que puedo empezar, pero me dice que no le, no, no le, no, no clic en. No, en le vamos todavía. a dar todos juntos. Oh, va. Wow. Uh -huh. okay. Yo estoy ahí, Tichu. Vaya, vamos a ver. Ahorita tienen que entrar. Ahorita solo tengo nueve. ¿Hay alguien que no sea, eh, que no ya haya ingresado? Ahí. ¿Y ustedes cuántos visualizan? Yo soy. A, a ninguno. A mí me dice empezar, Tichu. No, no aparece. No aparece. No aparece, no aparece, 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 aparece la cantidad. Antes sí aparecía. Sí. Hoy solo aparece una persona. Aparecen, solo nueve, nueve aparecen. y tenemos veinte en el, en el 22 sabemos acá. Entonces tenemos que haber 22 allá. Ok, Porque nadie bien. está usando doble dispositivo, ¿verdad? Uh. Ajá. Vamos a ver entonces. Hey, vámonos a hacer el ejercicio todos. No le tengan miedo, que es bien bonito. Vale, vamos a ver. Le voy a dar iniciar y todos los demás se van a ir agregando, ¿ok? Vamos. Let's start. Three, two, one, let's start. Hello. Georgina is in the first place. Go ahead, continue. Very good. Rolando, very good. Karina, go ahead. Ajá. Pónganle atención a los detalles. 
Hay cascaritas. Isidro, excellent. You are going to the first place now. Very good. Yes, I did. Yay. <laughs> 11,090. Very good, Isidro. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Nice, Georgina. You are in the second place now. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I think only Wendy's still uh, doing it, right? Ya todos lo terminaron, ¿verdad? Solo Wendy nos queda por ahí. Vamos a ver. Tenemos solo el 72% de precisión. Pongámosle coco. Eleven of twenty done, okay. Go, go, Marianne. Don't stop, Manuel. Go ahead. Ok, hoy sí a todos, ¿verdad? Hoy sí a todos terminamos. A ver, ¿cómo sintieron el jueguito? Ajá, cuéntenme, ¿qué sintieron? ¿Se sintieron así? Presionados. Sí. Pero estaba primera divertido, vez, ¿verdad? Pero es primera vez que yo juego eso, teacher. ¿Ah, sí? Ok. Sí. Ajá. Si nos queda otro chancecito, lo vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Si nos queda otro chancecito. Ahorita voy a tomar la asistencia, chicos. Ah, bueno, alguna, vamos a ver. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de lo que hicimos en el juego? ¿Alguna que se les haya quedado? Y no, hombre, así no es. Yo, yo sabía que era así. Ajá. A veces pasa, ¿verdad? Uno dice, no, hombre, pero si así era, ¿y por qué me la pone mala? ¿Verdad? <ríe> ¿Alguna que se acuerden? ¿No? ¿No se acuerdan o no quieren decir? A ver, bien. Uh -huh. 
Yo quizás como en la, casi en las últimas me equivoqué. Ah, en las últimas. Sí, vale, le puedo sí decir que... una cosa, que como este lo revuelve este juego, entonces las últimas suyas no fueron las últimas de otro participante, sino que las revuelve todas para cada uno. Entonces, más o menos, ¿alguna que se acuerde? Que decía una palabra que no entendí, pero se me fue así rápido. Se me ah, olvidó. ok, ok. Ah. okay. How many bueno. is it? How many? Is it. No, ese es how much. Oh, perdón, es how okay. much is it. Sí. How much is it, cuánto cuesta. Y habían Ajá. diferentes, así como, eh, there was a date. This is a ten, ten dollars. It's. Uh, it's ten dollars. Um, 50 cents. 50, 36. Yeah. No, it said 11.50 uh, or 10.50. Uh, 10.50. Uh -huh, 10 okay, guys. Well, this is just to, <laughs> to see. Y, y no sacamos tan, tan bajo porque ya en 72 pues ya le vamos apuntando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vamos a hacerlo después. Bien. Apurémonos entonces a ver la otra parte de la clase, ok, pero déjenme tomar la asistencia. Acuérdense que tienen que poner su cámara y decir presente, ok. You have to turn on your cameras and say present. What did I do? Here we go. Ok, Alma Verónica. No, it was not present. Right. Castro de Serrano, okay. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Herman Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present teacher. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present Kelly teacher. Maricela Díaz Lozano. Ok, Catherine. Present. Ok, Kelly. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Present. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando mm. José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy Lizeth Gómez García. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. There we go. Okay, people. Then let's talk about the frequency adverbs. But the first thing that I want you to tell me is the things that you do when you are not working. Okay. Let's think about the activities that you were doing when you were not working. Okay. Those activities are called leisure activities. Just let me go there. Leisure activities. Okay. Leisure activities. Here we have six pictures. Okay. You are going to tell me what activity do you see in each, in each, I'm sorry, in each picture. So number one, picture number one, what activity is that? Read a book. Read. He was drinking uh, drink coffee. <laughs> Drinking coffee, yeah, drink coffee. Uh -huh. Okay, read a book. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And number two. Um, exercise. A wall. Uh -huh. We are going to go to the bike. You bicicleta. see people on bikes. Uh -huh. you say bicicleta. Bike. Like this. Bike. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entonces, ride a bike. 
Okay. Ride. Ride a bike. Para motos y para bicicletas decimos ride. Okay. Montar bicicleta, montar la motocicleta. Okay. Ride. Also, I can say go to the park. Okay. Because some people are, are not riding a bike. They are walking, right? So we can say we can go to the park. Okay. What about number three? Go shopping, go to the shopping. Go shopping, yes. Go shopping. Uh -huh. Very good. What about number four? Play soccer. Okay. Play soccer. Play soccer. Okay. No decimos fútbol por respeto al fútbol americano, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad es fútbol el de nosotros, entonces, pero ellos quieren decirle soccer, ¿ok? Uh, number five. Sorry. 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 Ok, go surf. There you go. Number six. Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Yes, go to the beach there you go mm -hmm. okay then these are activities that we do when we are not working okay where we when we are not at work we do things to relax okay to take a rest or just to recreation okay those are called leisure activities Ok, leisure activities. A ver, todos digan esta frase. Leisure, leisure. Leisure activity. Excellent. Le suena como a leisures, ¿verdad? Pero es leisure. Uh -huh. En vez de terminar con una S, pongamos la R. Leisure. Yeah, leisure. Leisure sin S. Leisure. Mm -hmm. Leisure. Leisure, Leisure activities. Okay. ¿Alguien puede definir ya qué serían leisure activities en English? Ocio. Ocio. Oh. Yeah, Happy? but can you tell Happy? the definition in words? Hobbies. Okay, but what is hobby? What is a hobby? Yes, but that's translating. Hey, veamos la diferencia. La diferencia que estamos diciendo no, no es la traducción lo que estamos pidiendo, es la definición, ¿ok? The definition, oh. right? Not translating, defining, ¿ok? What are the leisure activities? The leisure activities are those that we do when we are not at work, ¿ok? When we are taking a rest, those are leisure activities out of the work or the working hours, right? Out of the working hours. So now let's see, how often do you read a book? How often do you read a book? How often, how often do you read a book? Ajá. Vamos a poner por acá esa frasecita. Ok. How often do you read a book? And you tell me an answer. I. I read a book. I read a book. Mowgli. Mowgli. Well, one monthly, one, I read uh, one a week. book monthly. Mon, monthly. Monthly. Okay. Monthly. 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 Mon a uh, book at week weekend. Excuse me. At at week 
weekend. And I read a more? book. Uh -huh. Weekend. Okay. Ahí tenemos una situación bien bonita, miren. Weekend. At weekend no está incorrecto, ok, pero no es usual en el inglés americano. Esto es más en el inglés británico y sería para nosotros on weekend. Ok, on, en este caso si es solo un fin de semana al que usted se va a referir en singular sería on the weekend. Ok, ok. Si es todos los fines de semana, quitamos the y ponemos el plural on weekends so every weekend you read a book that's how often you do that okay very good excellent mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes, es sería correcto si es I read a book every two months yes it is correct okay. I read a book every two months Yes, yes, very And good. Every day, teacher. I, I read a book every day. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahora veamos el concepto en esto. Puede ser que yo voy a agarrar un libro cada dos meses y durante ese tiempo yo no leí, ¿verdad? En esos días, sino que hasta los dos meses vine a agarrar un libro. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Podría ser. Entonces, en este caso podríamos cambiar para ser más específicos, ¿ok? One second. Well, just give me one second because I am alone with my baby here. One second. Go ahead. Is it okay? Don't worry, everyone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just give me one second. I apologize. Okay. Mm. It's not usual that I stay alone with my baby at the time when, well, when I'm teaching, but today it happened. It happens that today everybody went out. Okay, guys, so now let's think about a definite thing, okay? A definite thing here, because A, esta letra A o este artículo A es indefinido, ¿verdad? Es indefinido en más en la, en la situación eh, de un eh, adverbio que está definiendo un tiempo específico. Entonces podemos decir one book, ¿ok? En vez de a, como para volver al concepto, ¿sí? I read, I read one book every two months. Ahora sí me da la idea de que ese libro yo lo he estado leyendo en esos dos meses, ¿ok? Bien, continue, guys. Continue. How often do you ride a bike? How often do you ride a bike? I never. I never. <laughs> Excellent. You know something now, okay? I never ride a bike. Very good. Pero hasta el momento hemos aprendido a usar don't, ¿verdad? Hasta el momento si nosotros decimos I don't ride a bike. Estamos diciéndolo de una manera correcta, ¿ok? I don't ride a bike. Hasta este momento, antes de estudiar los adverbs of frequency, podíamos decirlo de esta manera. I don't ride a bike, ¿ok? How often do you go to the park? How often do you go to the park? I go to the park in the morning. Ok, very good. I go to the park in the morning okay. every day very good every day that's more specific right i usually mm -hmm. i Tell usually me. i usually to go to the park on weekend mm -hmm. 
Very good. Very good. Here we have two adverbs of frequency. Hasta el momento hemos aprendido, every day is definite, definite, right? No day missing. And it's an adverb too, because it's showing time. Los adverbs of frequency o los adverbios de frecuencia son adverbios de tiempo, ¿verdad? Ad adverbios de tiempo en este caso, pero que indican, indican una un, uh, qué tan seguido, qué tan seguido realizamos alguna actividad, ¿ok? Bien. Tell me. Uh, I go the bar uh, often. Very good. I go to the park often. Very good. Mm -hmm. A menudo, yes. Okay, we're going to stop this here and I'm going to ask some other questions, okay? Ahorita les voy a preguntar otras cosas acerca de actividades que normalmente hacemos. Oh, oh. <laughs> it pupusas. Aha. Uh -huh. Every week. Pupusas in the morning, in the lunch, the dinner. I like it. Pupusas is delicious. Y si no han cenado, imagínense. If you didn't have pupusas. dinner yet. <laughs> Okay, the question here is how often, right? How often do you eat pupusas? Oh, every day. I, I eat pupusas. I, I frequently. Frequently? Frequently. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Y con lo que hemos aprendido hasta este momento, con todas las frases, time expressions que hemos aprendido. I eat, eat pupusas every day. Every day. Daily. Okay. Sure. Okay. Daily means that you eat at least once during the day, right? Okay. Okay. Every day or I eat Week. pupusas daily. Uh-huh. You Be said, sure. uh, Henry said frequently. Tell me. I eat pupusas one or twice a week. Very good. Once or twice a week. Very good. Mm -hmm. I usually eat the pizza on weekend. Okay, I usually. On weekends, very good. Mm -hmm. On weekends, sure? either Saturday or Sunday, right? Tell me. I eat, I eat, I eat pupusas on weekends. On weekends, very good. Mm -hmm. I very eat, good. I eat ten pupusas per, per <laughs> week. Okay, I eat ten pupusas per week. Okay. <laughs> Podríamos decir ten pupusas. Okay, ten. Pupusas a week. A I week or in a week? <laughs> I eat always only Sunday. Okay, I eat pupusas. Pupusas only Sunday. Only on Sundays. Okay, very good. Tell me. I eat pupusas from Monday to Sunday. <laughs> I, I eat pupusas from Monday to Sunday. Okay. <laughs> I eat pupusas all always. Very good. En ese caso lo diríamos, oh. bueno, voy a ponerlo acá para que lo visualicemos así, ok, okay. always. Podríamos decirlo de esta manera, aunque lo más correcto, ok, lo correcto sería I always eat pupusas. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. okay. 
just the order of the words, okay? So I always eat pupusas. So you see, we can say the frequency of this activity mm -hmm. and everybody eat pupusas in El Salvador, right? So how often do you eat pupusas? I always eat pupusas. I eat pupusas in the morning. I eat pupusas in the afternoon. I eat pupusas in the evening and down too, right? <laughs> Teacher, I uh -huh. eat pupusas for breakfast. Very good. How, how do you say madrugada? Done. <laughs> Done. Like this. D-A-W-N. <laughs> I eat pupusas uh, for breakfast. Breakfast. ¿Cuál sería el adverbio ahí, teacher? Ah, en este caso no es, no hay un adverbio. En este caso no hay un adverbio, ¿ok? Le teacher. podríamos agregar un adverbio, pero ya con que me diga for breakfast, any breakfast. So it's in the morning, right? Es, lo, lo, lo relacionamos a la mañana, ¿ok? Teacher. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, what? pupusa do you like? Oh, I love uh, beans and cheese. Yeah, oh. or cheese and beans. Uh -huh. I love them. Yeah. Garlic too. Garlic. Oh, I love garlic. Yeah, garlic pupusas. Teacher. Tell me, anyone. I eat. I I eat vegetable pupusas at night. Vegetable pupusas like. Ayote. Oh, oh no. Tomato. 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 And, and onion. Um, it's, it's, um, pepper. Pe, chile. Peppers. Peppers. Pepper. Green peppers. pepper. Uh -huh. Peppers. Combi, combi, co, combination. Uh, combined. Uh, combined. Yes. Combined. Uh, mixed. Yes, uh, mixed. Mixed. Oh, mixed. mixed. Okay. Mixed. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds good. Mating, mating is my my wife. Oh, very yeah. good. Ma uh -huh. Homemade. Home uh, home, made. Homemade. Homemade. Very my good. Wife, so. Excellent. Excellent. I used to make pupusas over here in my house, but uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. How do you say ajo in English? Garlic. I garlic. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. I love garlic pupusas. Teacher. Tell me, uh, Carmen. Eh, entonces, el adverbio va después del sujeto, generalmente? Yes. Yes. Generally, we are going to have this the adverb or the frequency adverb before the verb and after the subject. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me. In my home, uh, my dog eats to, to twice pupusa, uh, no, to eat pupusa to twice a week. Oh, good. Okay. My dog eats Mm -hmm. pupusas. To twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. They, 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 they like pupusas cheese. Oh, he likes cheese pupusas. He likes cheese pupusas. It's my dog too. Okay. Nice. I had two dog. Oh, okay, okay. So now I'm going to ask a different question, okay? And you're going to tell me, how often do you visit the doctor? How often do you visit the doctor? I don't visit the doctor. <gasps> but you eat a lot of pupusas. Don't you visit the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't visit the doctor. Okay, so I don't mm -hmm. visit the doctor. Very good. Uh, just give me one second because here there is. Okay. I don't visit the doctor. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Then. Ajá. Uh -huh. We visit the doctor once a week. Oh, bueno, a month. Once a, a month. month. Okay. I visit. No, we. We means uh, who? Uh, my wife and me. Okay, entonces pongámosle bonito así. My wife and I. Okay. My I wife have... and I visit uh, the doctor once month. a month. Okay. Or monthly. Okay. Teacher, tell me. I visit the doctor only if I feel sick. Okay, very good. I visit the doctor. Ese no tiene adverbios, okay. Pero es una muy buena respuesta. I visit the doctor only if I feel sick. Oops. Very good. Tell me. How do you say cuando me enfermo? When I get sick. When I get sick. Okay. Only... I visit when... the doctor when I get sick. Okay. When, when I need. I get sick. Okay. I visit, I visit the doctor when I need a day off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Be careful no with the auditory, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> no, I I'm going to pass, okay? I'm going to pass. <laughs> paso, paso. Oh my. <laughs> I visit the doctor when I need a uh, leave. Okay, a leave or a day of. Pero miren, no tomen el ejemplo, okay? Oh. Don't take the example. <laughs> no, teacher. El día libre. Ajá, <laughs> Ajá solo por la incapacidad. Okay. <laughs> por vocabulary. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to ask another question. Uh, and then we are going to explain about the adverbs. How often do you attend a meeting in your jobs or any meeting? One or, bueno, I get, mm -hmm. I, I attend a meeting one or twice a week. I attend a meeting Once a week. Once a week? No, when, one or two or twice. Or twice. Mike, que suene esta, esta CE como una S. Once, Once. or twice mm -hmm. a week. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. I have a meeting every week. Very good. I have very good. Mm -hmm. I have attended meet meetings. I attend attend meetings mm -hmm. three or more times every okay. week. Three or more times. <laughs> Every, every week. week okay i attend a meeting only a thursday okay entonces si y es siempre todos los martes o eh, todos los jueves thursday or tuesday which one did you say i'm sorry um eh, se le podría agregar every day al final o eh, no, no, porque si usted está diciendo un solo, unos, un solo día, ya sea Tuesday o Thursday, oh, no. ¿cuál de los dos es? ¿Tuesday o Thursday? Todos los jueves. 
Okay, so every Thursday, okay? Every I Thursday. attend okay. a, I meeting. Attend a meeting every, uh -huh. every Thursday. Thursday, okay? Recordemos acá, la, el nombre de, las, de los días de la semana se escriben con mayúscula, capital letter in English, okay? So every okay. Thursday, It's capital a... letter for days. Tell me, Carmen. Eh, puede ser también, I attend a meeting always Thursday. Um, always? Thursday, always Thursday? Uh, no, en ese caso, eso se define como on Thursdays or every Thursdays. Uh, I'm sorry, every siempre, Thursday. Siempre los... Uh, o sea, siempre el día... ¿No se puede poner así? Um, para nosotros sí, siempre en español. A ver, déjeme. A ver, I attend a meeting. Este, always the, Every Thursday the, is the, the most. Monday. O always, puede ser, always I always, I always, o es toda la compañía o su área o como, we always. Mm -hmm. Have, ahí sí podría ser, a meeting on Thursdays. Ahí sí. Okay. Oh, We always have a meeting on Thursdays. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. También se, puede ser, también se pudiese decir, I have a meeting Monday or Tuesday. Uh, again, can you repeat it? Is uh, I attend meeting Monday mm -hmm. or Tuesday? I attend a meeting or or Tuesday. On or 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 or. Okay, eh, son dos días diferentes que puede ser uno o puede ser el otro. Eh, Ajá, correcto. Eh, Ajá. Jueves, eh, lunes o jueves. Ahí los utilizamos... lunes o los jueves. Bueno, ¿Cómo, cómo sería esa básico, forma? existe un, una que es either, pero tiene una gramática un poquito complicada, pero I attend a meeting. Ahí podemos decir los días nada más. Uh, you told me Tuesday. Or Monday. Ah, Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Yes. I attend Monday. a meeting yes. on Monday or Tuesday. Um, así me lo dijo al principio, ¿verdad? I attend a yes, meeting teacher. on Monday or Tuesday. On Monday yes. or on Tuesday. I think it is okay. I think it is okay like that. Mm -hmm. For our basic module, yes, it is. There are other ways, but have uh, they have a, a different grammar okay hasta el momento okay, esto está correcto okay okay thank you okay there we go so let's think about what is an adverb okay what is an adverb ahorita ya los usamos todos los adverbios los usamos fíjense pero veamos entonces uh, an adverb of frequency okay it's a word that change or qualify the meaning of a sentence by telling us how often or how frequently something happens. Okay, so it refers about the amount of times that this activity um, occurs. So always this word, uh, frequency adverb, answer the question how often, okay? Para la pregunta, how often? Siempre vamos a utilizar un adverbio de frecuencia. How often, adverb of frequency. How often, le preguntan qué tan seguido, ¿ok? Los más comunes, ¿ok? Los más comunes, los tenemos ahí en nuestro manual, ¿ok? And are these ones, ¿ok? These are the adverbs that, uh, that more common, ¿ok? And it's very frequent 
that we use these words. Bien, acá en esta fila, perdón, en esta columna, frequency in this column, you see percentages, right? Do you see the percentages? Percentage. The 100 percentage or the 100 percent means that all the times, okay, the 100 of the times these activity happen, happens. So we use always, always, siempre, okay. always. I always get up at five o'clock. I always get up at five o'clock. Okay. Siempre me levanto a cinco la I always get a up cinco. at five o'clock. It doesn't matter if it is a weekend. Okay. If it is a Saturday or a Sunday, then mm -hmm. you get up at five. That's what this thing says. Always. Right. Now let's think about the usually. Usually means that the 10% of the times this doesn't happen, doesn't occur. So he usually drives to work. Maybe sometimes he goes by bus, right? Or maybe he takes a taxi, we don't know, right? But usually he drives to work. He usually drives to work. 80% normally, okay, normally. Y así, a medida que va bajando el número, es menos veces. Esto no quiere decir que exactamente el 10% de las veces no sucede. No, es una referencia, ¿ok? It's just a, refer as a reference. We have normally, normalmente, ¿ok? Normalmente. Y lo que se sale de normalmente es fuera de la norma, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, normalmente, normalmente. Quiere decir que hay algo que puede ser anormal, ¿verdad? Entonces, she normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. But she didn't reply. Why? Well, she normally checks her email. I don't know why she didn't reply, right? Often, often, a menudo, often. I often have breakfast at work, not all the times, okay? Sometimes, she sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. Maybe sometimes she goes for uh, having lunch with, uh, I don't know, her boyfriend or someone else, right? or maybe her team, whatever. Occasionally, occasionally. I occasionally work over time. Oh, I occasionally oh. work over time. Oh. Only when there is too much work, okay? Oh. Occasionally. Seldom. Este seldom mm -hmm. no es muy eh, común ahora. O sea, es más como old fashioned. Es como muy formal. Okay, y realmente en vez de seldom diríamos rarely, okay, rarely, más así. Rara, rara vez. Mm -hmm. Pero sí lo van a encontrar en textos, en literature, en text, you are going to find seldom. And seldom is close to never, okay, it's very close to never, so... Mm, one, two, once or twice happens, right? But seldom, okay? Once a year could be seldom, okay? It depends on the activity. We seldom take calls at work. We seldom take calls at work. Maybe personal calls, right? Maybe personal calls. Hardly ever, hardly ever. Do you know hardly ever? ¿Habían escuchado esa frase? Hardly ever. Si no, se fijan, son no. dos palabras juntas. Hardly ever. No vamos a decir nunca Rara aquí, veces. hardly never. Aquí es hardly ever. Rara veces. Yes, it's a synonym of rarely. Okay? It's a synonym of rarely. It's very close to never. Okay? Hardly ever. Okay? I hardly ever share sweet bread, okay? Yo muy rara veces comparto el pan dulce, okay? So I hardly ever. 
I <laughs> rarely, yes, and it's true. <laughs> it's true. I love sweet bread. Mm -hmm. So I hardly ever share. <laughs> Rarely, he rarely has conferences. He Nunca. rarely has conferences. So Nunca means, tarde. This, is a, this is a very important person and maybe he has a different kind of communication with people, right? So yeah, conferences, maybe he doesn't have. So never, never, never means Nunca. never. Nunca. Yeah. Nunca. Esa ya la conocemos, ¿verdad? Mm. Never means mm. never, ever, forever. Okay? Never. Mm. Never. Mm. Okay. I never get late to work. Can you say that? Okay. ¿Pueden decir eso conmigo? Can you say that no. with me? Who's with me? I never get late to work. I, I can hear you guys. I never get late to work. <laughs> Very we good. Don't have, we Very don't good. Have moral. Are you I'm with me? No. No están conmigo. Okay. I never get late to work. I never get late to work. I never get grado, late okay? to work. Yeah. I never get late to work. Yes. So let's see how this work. Okay. Let's see how all these together work. So how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Okay, veamos entonces, Carmen and Herman. Please role play this conversation. Okay. John or Anne? Yeah. Yes, but, please. But, yep, I am John. Uh, how often do you check your email? Every two the hours. Mm -hmm. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, uh, I try to check is as often as I can, and how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call, the, call them. First thing in the morning, I believe is is important to have contact with them with them all the time. You are right. Very you good. Are right. Very good, Carmen. Good intonation. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, let's listen to Juan Francisco and Marianne. Okay, teacher. Uh, I am John. Yes, please, yeah. because you are John and she is Anne. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two or and you? Uh, well, I did check is as often I can and how often do you call your client? I often call them on a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clean? Yes, I will. Call them 13 in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact why the why thing all the time? You are right. Thank you very much, guys. So let's check some pronunciations here. Okay, we're gonna say this. Uh, call your clients. Call call your clients. Call your clients. Yes, everybody, please call your clients. Call your clients. Call your clients. Call, call Once your a week. Clients. Once a week. One, once a week. a week. 
Ajá, aquí no decimos one, aquí decimos once. once a week. A week. Once, once a week. A week. Once a week. Once a week. Uh -huh. A ver, first thing. First, first thing. First, first thing. Esta TH es como una Z español, española, ¿verdad? De allá, de, sí. de la película. Sí. Like this. Ponemos la lengua entre los dientes. TH sí. es first thing. Thing. First thing. First thing. No thing. Es... Saquen la lengua y no importa que escupan. Vamos a ver. Like this. Porque no tenemos ese sonido grabado. No lo tenemos re, eh, mm. formado en nuestra lengua. First ¿verdad? thing. First Ajá. thing. Saquen first la lengua. First thing. Pull your tongue out. First thing. First thing. First thing. First thing. First thing. 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 Okay. Thing. Entonces, unamos first las dos thing. palabras. First, first thing. thing. First, first thing. thing. First thing. First thing. First thing. First thing. 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 Sí. Ok, more or less, more or less. Sí. Ese tiene sí. dos sonidos, tiene ese fuerte, pero hay otro más suave que lo usamos acá. With them, with them. Miren, sacamos la lengua para decir esto, ¿eh? With, with them. With them. With them. With them. With Como que fuera una D, pero así, with them. With them. With them. With them. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen to Manuel and Wendy Maris Maricela. Manuel Joan, Maricela Ann. Joan, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and day. Well, I I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call the on a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, yes. I always call them 13 in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Wendy? And you, you are right. Very good, very good. Aquí hay una... Eh, entonación marcada. You're right. O oh, you are right. Ok. You are right. Porque hay un eh, signo de admiración. Vaya, vamos a ver. Esto está en la página 19. Ok. Todavía nos quedan dos minutitos. Vamos a ver. Para que nos vayamos a esa página y hagamos the comprehension check. Ok. In our manual. So let's go to page 19 and let's answer these two questions. Page 19. 19, yes. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Here we go. How often do you check your, um, I'm sorry, it doesn't say do you. Does Anne check her email? A ver, léame esta pregunta número uno, por favor. Eh, Henry, Alberto. How often does and check her email? Thank you very much. Who knows the answer? Did you check? What is the Every answer for number hours. one? Every two hours. Thank you. And yes. Every two hours. Very good. Why is it important to check the email every day? Why is it important to check the email every day?
Dancy. No. Uh huh. Why is it important to check the email every day? Information. Okay. To get information. Uh huh. Very good. Yeah, to get information. Uh, it could be from work, it could be personal information or uh, confirmation things, you know, codes, confirmation codes, access codes, okay? So we use the email, right? Um, everybody agrees? Todos están de acuerdo con esa respuesta? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ya son las diez, teacher. No, come on. Tell me something <laughs> else. Hey. Uh, así le sonó. <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes. no, teacher. No, no, no. no. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. What about um, what about um, receiving invitations to a meeting or? maybe sending reports, maybe to, I don't know, to check um, maybe how the goals are going, okay? So yes, to get information in general. Okay, I will stop sharing. Okay. Not well. hmm? I'm sorry? No, no teacher, no teacher. Ok, y la última Pero, cosa, sorry. la última cosa es esto, ok, para que no se nos quede ahí en el tintero y esto es respondiendo a la pregunta de eh, Carmen, ok, the placement of an adverb, ok, the placement of, of a frequency adverb, it's like this, subject, adverb, the verb and the complement, so the adverb it is between the subject and the verb. For example, number one, I often go to the beach on week weekends. Often is right in the middle, after the subject, before the verb. See? Okay. Carmen, can you read number two, please? Okay. I often go to the beach on the weekend. Okay. And number two, please? My boss sometimes visits potential clients. Very good. Thank you very much. Kelly Maricela, number three. My husband, um, I always have breakfast, breakfast at home. Okay, there you go. A ver, hay algunos de los adverbios que pueden ir al final. Ok, no necesariamente ese patrón que acabamos de decir. Podrían ir al final. Por ejemplo, sometimes puede ir al final. ¿Cómo podría ser si lo llevamos al final? My boss visits potential clients sometimes. Y el acento o la fuerza de voz cambia, ¿verdad? Aquí decimos, en, este, en esta pos posición de la oración decimos, my boss sometimes visits potential clients. Ahora, si yo paso esta para allá, ok. My boss visits potential clients sometimes. Ok. Sometimes. There you go. You see the difference? Even though it's the same meaning, ok, it's the same meaning, but you can place it right in the middle or you can place it at the end. Not all of them. No todos, los, eh, no todos los adverbios de frecuencia pueden hacer esto. Eso lo vamos a ver mañana, ¿ok? Porque ya llegamos a las 10 en punto. So I will call the roll. Is there any question so far? No, teacher. No, teacher. No questions? No, teacher. Ok. How often do you have English classes? Mm. Every day. Every day. Every day. How often do you do your homework? Every day. Every day. 
It to should be every day. day. Yeah, every day. got you. Yes, los caché. Vamos a ver. Tiene que ser todos los días, chicos, ¿ok? Todos los días, por favor, hacer right after the class, ¿ok? Tengo varios que no presentaron y esa nota vaya tarde, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, que no quede usted marcado como el tardista, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Please turn on your cameras. And when I call your name, you say present. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Okay. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Herman Enrique González Valeriano. Present teacher. Okay, Georgina. Okay, Herman. Uh, Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Isidro Ernesto Costa Maldonado. Present teacher. Jose Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. Jose Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present teacher. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present teacher. Kelly Marisela Díaz Lozano. Present. Ok. Manuel Edilberto García Meléndez. Present. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy Lizette Gómez García. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Present. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present. Henry, ok, Carmen, thank you. Henry Vladimir Ramirez Martinez. Present teacher. Ok, people, so now we uh, finished, ok. Si nadie más tiene preguntas, nos vamos, ok. Y se queda okay. José Arnoldo conmigo si tiene preguntas, ok. Right, teacher. Okay, good then night, Bye, have teacher. a very good night. Have tomorrow. a very good rest. Good good See night. you tomorrow, Bye. teacher. See you tomorrow. Do your homework, everybody. Hello, Jose Arnold. Hello. Do you have any question about um, the topics? In class? Eh, algunas cosas, teacher. Eh, me cuesta mucho identificar eh, cuando se, es how many, how much, y do not. Eh, por lo menos vi que en las, en las tareas que están en el portal, más o menos, para hacerlo en eso, y hay muchas veces trato de, de leerlo, y hay veces que sí le entiendo, pero algunas veces no sé lo que dicen lo que me está diciendo. Ajá. Si quiere Entonces, vemos las tareas para que veamos ahí cómo lo vamos a ir haciendo. Déjenme llegar ahí para ver okay. las tareas. Ok. Vamos a ir para allá. Ok. Eso era en la anterior, ¿verdad? My curse number five and number four. Yes. Okay. Iba a compartir la pantalla. Sí, ah, sí. sí por aquí la tengo. Okay. Uh -huh. Bien, estábamos en las tareas de la unidad 1. Vamos a empezar a verlas, ¿ok? Por lo menos para hacerlo en esto con el juego que hicimos, más o menos le fui entendiendo algunas. Porque vi que por lo menos allá decían los de how much, how money. Y solo me acuerdo que vi con los... Vi uno que decía do, me imagino que va a ser she, do, él, ella, eh, más o menos son como los adverbios, ¿verdad? Y por um, eso dice how much, algo así. Ok, uh, mire, con lo de how much y how many, lo que usted se tiene que fijar es si el, eh, 
si el, el sujeto o estamos preguntando de una cantidad de objetos que se pueden contar o una cantidad eh, de algún objeto que no es contable, o sea que no se puede decir uno, dos y tres de esas cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, Entonces así, hot money sería contable. Sí, así es. Uh -huh. Y hot much no es contable. Exactly, exactly. Entonces tenemos por acá, mire, aquí tenemos que agregar how much or how many. Veamos. Ahorita. Uh -huh. Tenemos que identificar cuál es el sujeto en este caso, ¿verdad? O cuál, la cantidad de qué objetos queremos saber. Entonces, en este caso, si usted mira la número uno, estamos hablando de un plural. Parks. Sería, park. man, ahí sería man, como parque, ¿verdad? Yes, parks. Park. So, We can money. say, how many parks are money. there in your city? You can say, there are four parks. Okay, four. tenemos un número contable, ¿verdad? One park, two parks, three parks, four parks. Uh, Now, okay. let's see number two. Number two, we said that money, time, and others are known count. Uh, mm -hmm. En la segunda sería hot money, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando... De... De time como de dinero, ¿verdad? No, eh, en este caso, time es tiempo. El tiempo. Ajá. El tiempo en realidad no se puede no es, contar. No es contable. Se puede medir y se, se indica la hora, ¿verdad? Pero el nombre time, tiempo, no es tiempo contable. No es medible. Ajá, uh -huh. no es contable. No es contable. No podemos uh, uno, dos, tres. Aunque en otro contexto sí lo podemos contar. Si usted se fija en el, las clases hemos estado diciendo once es one time, ¿verdad? Es una vez. Ah, pero el significado es diferente. El contexto es distinto. Allá no es un tiempo, es una vez. ¿Ok? Entonces en el contexto usted va a definir si se cuenta o no se cuenta. O no se cuenta. Uh -huh. Entonces, number two. ¿Ponemos how many o ponemos how much? How many. How many? ¿Podemos how contar many? el tiempo? No. No. no Entonces, no. si no lo podemos contar, es how much. Si lo podemos contar, es how many. Ah, ah sí, perdón. Ajá. Sí, sí. Si no lo podemos contar, entonces es how much. Ok. Non count. Vamos a ver. Number three, it says pollution. Pollution yes. is there in El Salvador. How much or how many? Sería how many? How many nos respondería una, dos, tres pollutions. Pero en realidad no se puede. Pollution is a noun that we cannot count. Okay? Non-count noun. So it's how much. Okay. Ahí sería how much pollution is there in El Salvador. Se puede medir tal vez en como decir un cuantificador bastante poquito o un algo podríamos decir a lot of pollution podríamos decir some pollution a little pollution. Okay pero no podemos decir one, two, or three pollutions, ¿ok? okay Entonces es how much. Vamos a ver en esta otra, number four. four Acá sería how many. How many, yes, because we can count the workers, right? One worker, two workers. Yes, it's plural. Okay, number five. How much? Okay, yes, because we cannot count it. Aunque podemos contar las monedas, los billetes y todo eso, pero dinero, la palabra dinero es incontable. So, how much money do you need to buy a house? Okay. Okay. Y así sería nuestra tarea. Mire, ahí ya las tenemos todas correctas. ¿Ve? Okay. 
hoy sí ya le cacho un poquito más. Sí, sí, okay. realmente sí. Ok, como... ¿quiere que hagamos entonces las de don't and doesn't? Sí, por favor. Vale, vamos a ver entonces. Negative, right? Okay. Permítame que no lo puedo agarrar porque tenemos la picture aquí. Ahí está. Vale, aquí tenemos las oraciones. Ahora estábamos transformando las positivas en negativas, ¿verdad? Decíamos que cuando tenemos sujetos de tercera persona, third person subjects, son he, she, it. He es un hombre, ¿ok? Un hombre. Uh, she es una mujer, ¿ok? It es... Cualquier cosa, un objeto, un animal, ¿ok? So, he significa él, she significa ella, hey. it significa eso, ¿verdad? O ello, eh, la cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, la número uno, mire, tenemos Mario, lo podríamos sustituir por he, ¿verdad? Y ya es una tercera persona, Mario. ¿Cuál de estas le queda mejor? Sí, don't. Don't es para los otros sujetos. Ok, vale, decíamos cuando tenemos he, she, it, vamos a usar does. Ok. Does. Yes, does. Or does not, ¿verdad? De acuerdo, si, si es en pregunta, does. Si es en negativo, doesn't. Ahora, en los otros sujetos, I, you, we, they, usamos don't. ¿Ok? Para decir que no están haciendo algo. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí dice Mario es singular, ¿verdad? Solo es él, ¿verdad? Mario es él. ¿Cuál entonces usamos? Si usamos don't, nos va a salir mala porque no es ni I, no es ni you, no es we, ni es they. Es he, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces sería lo correcto. Doesn't. doesn't. Yes. Entonces, no. leamos la completa. ¿Cómo, cómo quedaría, José Arnoldo? De, de, ahorita, dame un segundito. Uh -huh, Solo uh -huh. quiero anotar algo. Ok. Mario doesn't like working on Saturdays. Ok, otra vez. Mario doesn't like working on Saturday. Very good, very good. Now let's look at number two. My friends. Es plural, ¿verdad? Es plural. Y podría ser ellos, ¿verdad? Porque ahí no me incluyo yo. Ahí solo está ellos. Entonces. Entonces sería. Mm, my friend doesn't eat lunch to girl. Ok. Si ponemos doesn't. Se referiría a solo un amigo. Pero aquí tenemos sus amigos. Ok. Sus. My friends. Mis amigos. En plural. Entonces en plural. Vamos a utilizar. Don't. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque plural, aquí, don't. Uh -huh, en los plurales, es como que aquí estuviera usted diciendo they, mire. My friends, they. es como que fuera they. Ellos. Ellos. Uh -huh. Ellos comen juntos, vea. Entonces, ellos no comen juntos. Ellos so, no comen. my friends don't, don't eat lunch together. Ok. Oh, Next one. Number three. Sería. Sería not good. 
Julio en Pedro? No, no, sería uh, Don't read los reportes. Exactly. Don't write reports. Don't write, uh, don't write mm -hmm. report. Yes. Um, este sería don't write. Don't write. Aquí. Don't write. Right. Ok. Don't write reports. Veamos acá. Number four. My sister. Uh, no. Es como si dijéramos she. Ok. Porque sister es hermana, es una mujer, ¿verdad? So it's she, right? No, sería doesn't have a car. Excellent. Doesn't have a car. Very good. Number five. My father and I. Serían do, don't and play. Exactly. Don't play. Porque eso se puede sustituir como we don't play, right? We. Vamos a darle submit. Y veamos. Ahora sí. Las tenemos ya todas correctas. ¿Verdad? ¿Queda un poco más claro esto? Sí, teacher. Okay. Sí, la verdad que sí. Ok. Cuando es he, she, it, vamos a usar doesn't. Don't. Cuando es I, you, sí. we, and they, vamos a utilizar don't. Ok. Don't. De solo don't. Uh -huh. Sería don't, sería with, me dio. Don't es para I, you, we, and they. Y doesn't es para he, she, it. Ok, teacher. Pero okay. sí, sí, ya con eso sí ya me quedó más claro, la verdad. Ok. Eso sería, más que todo, algunas cosas, para ser honesto, hay cosas que sí más o menos le entiendo y sí, va bueno, por lo menos la indicación que me dio usted ahora, ¿verdad? De que tratara de, de, de leerlo sin que me dé pena. Y muchas Exacto. veces eso me pasa, que siento que, que como que voy a decir mala palabra y quizás por eso me detengo. Sí. Pero, sí, pero es normal. Eso que le pasa a usted nos pasa a todos, ¿verdad? En un primer momento. Entonces, ahorita ya usted ya identificó que como usted tiene pena, se detiene y eso le, le eh, detiene a aprender. Entonces, usted dígalo porque usted tiene la idea, usted sabe leer. Entonces, lo va a leer. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Leerlo. Okay. Lo dije bien, lo dije mal, la teacher me va a corregir y qué bueno, ahí yo aprendo, ¿verdad? Yo aprendo. Okay. Eso sí, teacher. Yes. En, es, entonces, eso sería. Eso ok, sería José Arnoldo, my pleasure. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, bye. Uh -huh.